Hello Knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you'd like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below. There you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you can see all the patterns I have available for you to knit up for yourself. Also in the description below, you'll find links to a couple of social media locations. One is the Watch Barbara Knit Facebook group. We'd love to have you join and come over and continue the conversations that we start here and in the comments below. Also, you will find a link to my Patreon page. Patreon is a website that allows creators to connect with the people that consume their creations. And it's sort of like a tip jar. If you like what I'm doing here, click on that link and go over and see if you would like to give uh, give me an idea how much you like what I'm doing. So it's knit crate time. Uh, every month I unbox a, a shipment from Knit Crate, which is a yarn subscription service. And it's so much fun because it's like having a birthday every single month. Uh, if you would like to know more about Knit Crate and everything, and I also have a discount code for you, please continue watching after I do the unboxing. But I know y'all want me to open it up right away. So here we go got my handy dandy scissors let's see what we got oh this tip is really good today <laughs> so this is being ridiculous come on come on <laughs> victory is mine let's put that away so as always, going to open it up so you can see it, but I can't. Blue, 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 blue. <gasps> blue and something else. What is going on there? What? Oh, ho, ho, baby. Blue and like a pink and some purple. It's definitely a heavier weight yarn. It is nice and soft. Look at that color. It's a variegated, let's see what it is. This is the knit crate, uh, the membership crate. So it's going to be a luxury yarn. That is the a knit crate yarn, Knitology, Knitology Worsted Merino. So I was right, it is a heavier yarn. This colorway is Kestrel Burbs. It was barb themed apparently. Uh, worsted weight, 218 yards, 100 grams. Suggested needle size is six to eight. Machine wash delicate cycle, lay flat to dry. All Natilogy lawns are made exclusively for knit crepe. Yep. So look, we got two skeins. Oh, and so yeah, see, you can see the pink and the purple together right there. So this bright pink right here is not, I think that's a tie, so. No, it's in there. Oh, how interesting. So it's gorgeous. It's soft. It, what is this? 100% super wash. It's actually softer than I would. Um, it is really nice. I'm going to actually open this up. So I always give away the knit crate to a lucky viewer so that's something else you want to watch for the information about at the end and i'm mentioning that because so lucky viewer um <laughs> i'm gonna twist this back up as best i can but i'm sure i wanted to open it up to see how the the color repeats work so this is really nice look at that it's got like almost a, a speckle so it's got some definite um visual texture to it and then so you've got it's like mostly the blue so the blue is like this whole bottom part and then at the top it goes into so the purple is here and then it goes back a little bit to a, blue, a slightly different blue i think huh yeah it's a different blue so if you look it's a darker blue and then you have this kind of mauvey pink it's definitely not a pink pink 
it's and it's beautiful and then you've got some purple so that's nice um if you had any interest in doing a planned pooling project this would be a good one because it's got a very predictable color uh range so that is really cool it's beautiful i'm just going to stick it right here for a little while <laughs> So every knit crate box comes with a pattern booklet and a bonus and the bonus, huh? It's a little thicker. I'm not real sure what this is, but it's cool. It might be one of those things that you tighten needles with. Let me take it out the little Ziploc bag. Huh? I think they're stickers. <laughs> Let me get it so that it's not too glary. There you see, I think that these are stickers and they're really cute. So, you know, sometimes it's stitch markers and sometimes it's, I really don't know what these are. Yep, they're stickers. I didn't want to peel it off, but it definitely has a little edge. So you have these cute little stickers that you can put on something knitting related. I'll put those back in the bag. So here we go. Knit the inspirations booklet and this is going to have it comes with two patterns um well it's more than that but it's two patterns for this particular yarn i'm going to move it so the pink's up top where's the pink i like the pink there it is <laughs> um okay so it you can get the digital patterns there's a download code i'm not showing y'all that and then the theme and inspirations was take wing for this one. We talked about that last time. And the membership crate got the worsted and the sock crate got something called incline sock. And there were apparently three different possible colors you could have gotten. And now they have this thing where you can choose your like color preference, like the general thing. So that is really cool. So we had Bohemian wax wing, which was the natural theme. Uh, Kestrel, which is this, the chill out, so it's the cooler colors, and European Robin, which is the energize me. So those are the three like tonal things. You can choose all natural, chill out, or energize me. And so this, look how cool the colors were. So this russet one right here was the energize me, and then you have the natural colors up here. And we fell right in the middle right here with the Kestrel. And then you'll have to find the sock yarns elsewhere. <laughs> I didn't open up that box. I don't want to spoil it. So the patterns that came with this for crochet, we've got Alpine leg warmers. And for knit, we have plumage socks. I'm going to guess that was the sock one. And then we have the birds of the feather socks in crochet, which is for the crochet uh, sock one. And then the Eclutana lakeside shawl. And this is going to be the knit pattern for the what this yarn is so you've got this gorgeous look at that gorgeous shawl oh it's so pretty and that's obviously in the naturals and then also the for crochet you've got these super fun leg warmers so that is really neat and that is going to be the yarn that i have here the blues and with the pinks that really love how it shows how it crochets up um so you can see how the the way that the dye is you've got subtle inclusions of those col of those extra colors uh, that's why there's so much blue um, here's a bigger picture of the shawl it's absolutely beautiful um, wow i like it a lot it looks like fairly straight oh it's got bubbles <laughs> little bumps and then the instructions for the leg warmers, which I can't really opinionate much on because I don't know a whole lot about crochet, but they look super fun and warm if you need to keep your ankles warm. Let me see. And then you've got the crochet ones and the knit ones. And then a sneak peek of the next one. So for September, the theme is prism which looks like it's going to be very colorful. So if you wanted to go and join Knit Crate, this is going to be your next box coming up and they are giving you some color ideas. And I'm guessing it's going to be like this month's where you'll get to choose your um, more of a theme, which category to narrow down so you're confident that you will get the colors you want. Um, so 
we've got the knit booklet i'm putting it back in the box and the cute little round stickers going back in the box and this absolutely so this is what it looks twisted up and this is the gorgeous gorgeous yarn i will be have you ever re so you ever rescan yarn so what you do is you stick like your hands in either end and you twist them in opposite directions see they're going around my fingers and you do it until it's tighter than you think it should be. And then you reach through the little hole there and you grab the little butt there and you don't rip off your Band-Aid. <laughs> and you pull it through and then it looks like a hot mess. And then you just kinda wiggle it around until it has some semblance of being skein-like. So, uh. mostly whoever wins this just know that i tried <laughs> it's not going to look like that when you finish knitting with it so normally what i do is suggest one of my patterns that i think would work well let me hang on let me double check what's the yardage on this 218 yards i'll be right back okay I went and I looked through and I really think that for my patterns, I have a few in worsted weight and I have a shawl, it's a crescent shaped shawl and it's called Mapes. And I'm gonna show you a picture of it here. I think this would work out really well. And Mapes is interesting because it isn't just a shawl pattern. So it's got like three sections. The first section explains to you how the construction works and essentially gives you the instruction for making the shawl with just the garter wings and like a stockinette inside. And then the second part, I called it if you want to tinker. And what it does is it gives you four different stitch, like basic texture patterns that you can insert inside that center panel and it tells you how to put it in so you can sort of improvise with textures, do stockinette, you can do like stockinette and garter and maybe some of these textures in there. And then there's the, if you want to, to work the pattern as pictured and it's line by line instructions of how to knit it. And what it is, is it's just how I put the different um, textures into the shawl. So that one is what I would recommend for the shawl. I think it would look great in this multicolor. It's just gorgeous. And so that is, we should probably talk about that. Um, I give away, I use Rafflecopter. Rafflecopter is a system where you just, there'll be a link in the description below and I usually try to uh, tack it into the first comment slot where you click through and use Rafflecopter. There are a few things that you can do. You can subscribe to the channel. You can follow me, um, I think on Ravelry in a couple different places. And for each thing you do, you can get an entry. If you've already done all those things, if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And, but you can go ahead and check that box off and say, woohoo. And what I do is after the time period is up, I'll put here on the screen when it is over, then I will draw and send out the package to the winner. Rafflecopter makes it random and it also makes it so I don't have to take any responsibility for storing any of your contact information because there are all kinds of crazy laws about that. So make sure to enter if you would like to win this box, but if you wanna be guaranteed to get this and you're just falling in love with it, you need to look in the description link below and check out Knit Crate itself. This is, as we said, the membership crate and it comes once a month and you can subscribe to it. I have a discount code for you if this is your first time trying it out. You can use DUCK20, D-U-C-K-2-0. 
and that will get you 20% off. Uh, it doesn't work with like the six months certain subscriptions because they're already discounted when you do multiple months, but it is super cool. I have not been disappointed with one yet. The other really cool thing is they have... Um, when you are a member, when you have, you have, they have a membership only area, they have indie pop-up stores where they have limited quantity from indie dyers that are really nice. They have notions and they have this store that's just for their members and they have some really fun stuff in there. They also are active on Ravelry and there are links in the description below to the Ravelry group where if you're not completely in love with the yarn you got, you can go and there's a uh, trade um, where you can trade with other people or if you're like I love this and I want to make a sweater's worth of it and I can't get a hold of it you can like trade out colors if you liked the other color you know but it's a place to chat and make sure that you get exactly what you want out of this subscription box so Click on the links below. If you use one of the links below to go to Knit Crate site, they know that I sent you and I would really appreciate that. And this is gorgeous yarn. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm excited. I hope y'all are. And I'd love to hear from you in the description below. You know what? You know what I'd like to hear? I just let it go. You know, they sent me whatever color they sent me. What I'd like to hear from y'all is if you did get a color, which of these three colors would you have preferred to get? Would you have wanted the excite, the energize me, the chill out, or the all natural? Would you want this russet or the blue or the brown gray. I think it'd be fun to hear. I mean, I'm perfectly happy with what I got and I hope whoever wins it is too. Thank you for watching this uh, unboxing. If you like it, please give it the thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.